under fractions, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing a little subheading that is called word problems. And then in ginormous, unmistakable letters, I need for you to write this down. You will, you will, you will, you will make Rectangles. If you know what's good for everybody. Can I highlight that? What color goes with purple? Neon green. White green. Black. Neon black goes with Oh. Name. Fractions. And here is Mr. Example Problem. I think that will clear up any mucky waters of dissolution that you may have acquired over the last. Two thirds of the 12 musicians played guitars. Here's our example. Two thirds of the 12 musicians played the guitar. How many played guitar? This again is one of those things where some of you are not know the answer that makes no difference to me because this is just a matter of finding the process, not the answer. How would this look on your paper? First of all, you don't need to write out all of these words, but this is what you do need to do. Okay. You need to draw a fraction rectangle, which means this. Just make yourself a nice rectangle. Please. Okay. Please, please, please. Don't do circles, because circles get hard to cut into pieces. Okay. You draw yourself a nice little rectangle. What does this rectangle stand for? It stands for all that you have. I have 12 musicians. That's what I have. What am I doing to those musicians? I am finding two thirds of them. So off to the side here, I just put my little fraction two thirds. I want to know what two thirds of those 12 musicians are. Now, if you remember right, on a fraction, what does the bottom number of a fraction signify? Victoria? Yeah, what is it? It's the denominator. But what is it? What does the bottom number of a fraction tell you, Colton? Like how many there are? How many equal pieces you're cutting this into? So I'm going to cut this into three equal pieces as best I can. I know you're only human there. So I take my whole thing, cut it into three equal pieces. If I do that, Tyler Hopkins, if I take 12, divide it into three equal pieces, how much is each piece worth? If I take 12, divide it into three equal pieces, Tyler. 12 divided into three equal pieces, how much would be in each one? Four. Right, so then you jot down your number four. And of those three equal pieces, the top number tells you how many you want, so I want two of them. Two of those fours is eight. Eight played the guitar. Now, not only do you know that, if you know that eight played the guitar, what can you infer about these other four? There's only really one thing you can infer about them. You can infer that Jordan Shaw, if eight played the guitar, the other four did not play the guitar. So you can't say they played the trumpet or the trombone because it didn't say that. It just said these played, these you know did not. Because they might ask you that every once in a while. Play guitar. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I need to see. When it comes to a fractional story problem, 
I just need the fraction rectangle. You cut it into the pieces. You label how many it's worth. You put the fraction you're using. You cut it into pieces, and everybody is relatively happy. Let's do one more, just because I can tell your excitement, and you really, really desperately want to get this right. How much is three fifths of three dollars? How much is three fifths of three dollars? Which means I do what? I draw my fraction rectangle. How much total cash do I have here? Three bucks. You may want to make it 300 cents because you're going to be cutting that into pieces. It's up to you. You can leave it three bucks, three dollars. I want three fifths of it. So what's my next step after I write that down? I am going to, Sam? Cut it into fifths. Cut it into fifths. One, two, three, four, five. If I cut three dollars into five equal pieces, at some point you may have to do the math somewhere else. Maybe you can't do that. You know, it doesn't matter to me. This is 300 cents cut into five pieces. What do you get? Everyone is 60 cents decimal or cent wise. And I want to know what three of them are. What is three sixties? What is three sixties? $1.80. $1.80, yeah. Does that look Hard, easy, medium. And then one last one. Sometimes they will ask you a question like this. What percent of a whole circle? What percent of a whole circle? is four fifths. And that really is the same thing. It's a fraction story problem. This time though your rectangle stands for what? Well it stands for a whole circle, but a whole circle is what percent? What percent is a whole circle? We have all of it. This rectangle stands for 100%. I am cutting it into four fifths, which means I do the same thing and I cut this into fifths. If I cut 100% into fifths, it's 20% each. And if you have four of those five twenties, you end up with 80%. Four fifths is 80%.